go away flies. Oh. Oh, here we are on our usual daily walk. I thought I'd show you this, not a very pleasant sight. But a goat farmer has just dumped three dead goats here. Well, did it about a week ago, so they're all decomposing, stinky, etc. Oscar would roll in one if he could got the chance, if I didn't have them on the lead. Apparently they're supposed to uh, take them to somewhere in the capital and have them incinerated, which costs them nothing. But obviously that's too much trouble, so they'd rather dump it here, right by the road. Not exactly healthy, is it? Look at the flies there. Ugh. That's horrible. But that's part of life here, unfortunately. Haven't done that for a long time, Oski. Tends to leave his bum alone. I missed the first bit, but that was because an ambulance went by with its siren on. He used to do that, howl at it, sing to it, but uh, hasn't for a while. Sue thinks it's because his previous owner went to hospital in an ambulance and died. Yeah. All right, let's keep. While the trials and tribulations of my teeth continue, unfortunately, woe is me, my implant I had at the front done about three or four weeks ago, it really is still loose and it's just x-rayed it and the bone's broken, which means it's got to come out. So he's got to come out, then he's got to put a bone graft in it and seal it all up for a few months. So I'm going to be without a front tooth, or a, I'm going to have a, a one false tooth, which I've always tried to avoid my entire life. Uh, God, I hate my teeth. People like Sue, who's only had three fillings in her life, are so lucky. Oh well, next week be back again to have it all done. Well, no prizes for getting where I am again. Yes, I'm in Puerto del Rosario. I've had to come back to the dentist. Ooh, he dropped it then. Yeah, I've had to come back to the dentist because I got home on Monday after having the bad news about my front tooth to, uh, and I had something to eat. And out popped my crown that I only had put in two months ago. So I've had to come back to have that put back in. Well, we're here in Coraleco for the uh, sort of two or three weekly trip to the bookshop so she can get her 20 books to read over the next uh, few weeks. And it's a usual story here in Coraleco. Impossible to park anywhere. 
So I'm just sort of sitting here on a street corner, hoping that uh, people can get by. Well, they can get by, but you never know with some of the dodgy drivers here. Uh, anyway, more teeth woes. I mean, this is becoming like a teeth vlog, isn't it? Only, as you'll probably just seen, only last week I went back to the dentist to have my new crown put back in, which has only been in two months. And yesterday I was eating something, only some breakfast, and out it popped again. Can't believe it. Anyway, I'm off to the dentist tomorrow anyway to have my front tooth all sorted, so hopefully they'll do that at the same time. Honestly, I really ought to move a bed into the dentist. I'm spending more time there than I am at home. Oh well, we're off to have some lunch with some friends in a minute, meet them, take them to Coroneca. Oh, sorry, not Coroneca. El Cotillo. I'm in Coroneca. So, perhaps I'll film then. Bye. Well, we've just come for our dog walk. And today we were actually going to meet uh, some viewers. Rick and Danielle and their daughter Sophia from... Uh, Switzerland, because Sophia wanted to meet the dogs. God knows why you'd want to meet these two, though. <coughs> Pair of horrors. Anyway, I had a message from them earlier to say they're about to go back to Switzerland early because uh, Sophia has developed a uh, an allergic reaction to something, so they've gone back to get her sorted. So, hope you feel better soon, Sophia, and we'll see you another day. Well, we're here on our walk. Yesterday was this little chap's fifth birthday, wasn't it, Jensen? So you had steak, both the boys had steak for your tea, didn't you? But I didn't, because I went to the dentist yesterday, again, to have my front one all sorted out. Oh, it wasn't pleasant. Took the old implant out, then spent ages digging around in my, in my jaw, in the hole, getting out bits of bone and what have you. And then he rammed in a load of up the bone from a cadaver, a dead person's bone, for a bone graft and sewed it up. But then came the worst part. I've actually, the front tooth is actually now a plate, just a one tooth plate, which I've got to have for six months while this all heals, so I can then have a, an implant and a proper crown put back in on the implant. And it's horrible. I, I don't know how people can have false teeth. Oh, it's just this big lump of plastic up in the roof of my mouth. It, it's making me lisp a bit, as you can probably hear. It's, uh, it's just horrible. So I don't know how I can stand this for six months. Go away, fly. Because you won't live for six months if you keep doing that. Uh, but what else can I do? It's either that or have a hole at the front. Which I don't want. Uh, we'll have to see how we go on with it. I suppose some people cope. But the problem I have is... I breathe through my nose and my mouth's always closed, particularly at night, and my tongue just rests on the roof of my mouth. And now it's resting on this horrible plastic thing, and it's making my mouth produce lots of saliva. <laughs> I noticed on the pillow this morning there was a big patch of drool, basically, where I've been asleep and dribbling. Lovely, isn't it? What it is to be old. So, to quote George Burns, I don't like getting old, but it's better than the alternative. I'll catch you again soon. Bye.